Hello folks, I'm Raida Wust and in this brief video I will walk you through how to install Autodesk Revit 2020. For that I go to autodesk.com to download installation files and from this front page I can go to all products or if it's already visible I can directly go to Revit sub page. From here I can select free trial and then I should see a download button. I do a left click, then next. I can select how I plan to use the product, but right now I'm mainly interested to install it as a free trial. It doesn't really matter which one to select. And of course, even if you install it as a free trial, if you later decide to subscribe, you can easily just add license information to it. So no need to install it again. So currently I'm selecting a business user. Choose your language. You can select a language and then next again. If I do need to have Autodesk account, anybody can create it. It's free to create one and you need to sign in. If you don't have account, you can create account. But after creating it, you can easily input your email and password and sign in. You may need to fill in additional information and now very important step is coming up. As you see, you can directly start begin download, but in this case you also need good internet connection during installation. So, for example, if you need to install it into multiple machines or decide to install it again, then I suggest that you download all files first using Download Manager, so it's down below, right hand side, and then you can easily install it without internet connection basically, which means that uh, installation is also quicker. So I use Download Manager. I need to download a small product, which is called Autodesk Download Manager. And for example, I put it onto my desktop. Please be aware that some antivirus software may indicate it as a file that you need to allow to be opened. But once this small file is downloaded, I can fire it up and because I selected Autodesk Revit, I should see Save Download dialog in where I select where I want to download all installation files that are needed for Autodesk Revit 2020. Currently, I have selected my C drive, some additional folder and some subfolder and then automatically a subfolder called Autodesk Revit or something like that will be also created. I actually don't download it again because I already have it. Of course, you just need to hit OK and the download starts. And depending on your internet connection, it may take a while. But after download is finished, you may also see that it will try to start installation directly. This is just fine to continue but you can also quit and install it at later times. So currently I'm hitting console and I can show you that all my files are downloaded to that location. So here we go, my C drive, install Autodesk 2020 and Revit 2020. If I double click on it, I can see my setup exa and this is really full installation folder, meaning that, for example, if I do a right click and hit properties, I can easily see that it's about 16 gigabytes. So I can do whatever type of installation with that. I hit console and also I can close this window now. So the next step will be to install Autodesk Revit 2020. As I mentioned, I downloaded all my files to C drive, install and Autodesk 2020, but it can be anything you selected. And from here, I can find Revit 2020 subfolder. I double click on it and then I double click setup.exe. This will start my installation. And from my start screen, I can go directly to install Revit 2020. But I have also additional options under install tools and utilities. Let's take a quick look at that. I accept the license terms, hitting next. For example, if I intend to use my product using Network License Manager, I also need this tool and I can also select some additional components. Right now, I just go back, back again 
and I can move on to install Autodesk Revit 2020. If I click on it, then additional information will be gathered about my computer. After that, I can see license agreement page. Of course, I suggest to read it through if it's your first Autodesk product. Then you need to select I accept and next again. And from here, you can see different Autodesk Revit components that will be installed or that can be selected with current installation. Of course, I suggest to go through system requirements and some installation help if needed or release notes. I think that system requirements is quite a crucial part to see if your computer has enough hardware capabilities. And once checked, let's go through those main selections that you can find from the top of page. First, Autodesk Revit 2020, you do left click and then you see which components will be installed by default. For example, Autodesk Formit Add-in for Revit 2020. Previously, it was additional component and installable as a separate installation. You can also see some MEP mechanical electrical plumbing connection plugins. I T-select, for example, Imperial because I'm a metric user. No need to select it. I also want to create a desktop shortcut. And of course, I do want to have all disciplines. But if you think that you will start to use only one discipline, then you can select it. But after all, even if you install all disciplines, you can easily simplify your user interface according to those disciplines anyway. So my suggestion is that um, all is good choice. Project path will be my documents folder. And then after checking this product list, I can left click again or to describe it. And then quite important is to see which Revit content libraries will be installed as well. So I do left click here, pay attention to that my current disk space requirement is almost 40 gigabytes, quite a lot, yeah? But it's because all content packs are currently selected. I don't need all of those. So I left click this English part and then I just hit one of those boxes by deselecting all English subcategories first and then only selecting which I do need. Again, I'm metric user and by default, I'm quite satisfied with US metric. You can later on add additional content packs if you require. So you don't need to think about it right now, but at least I suggest to select US metric. Other English, again, I select other English and deselect all those countries. And by scrolling down, I can see that different countries or content packs exists. All right. I can see US metric only, my default content, because only one was selected. This will be my default content as well. I scroll down. I can also configure some additional content path variables, but right now I don't do that or I don't need to do that. Again, I do a left click and now you can see that instead of 40 gigabytes, you only need eight gigabytes. I also want to have Autodesk material library and advanced material library. So you don't have any choices here. Those will be also shared components, meaning that if you have installed some additional Autodesk product already, which belongs to 2020, then you might have already those components and your installation will be a bit quicker. Installation path, I use default path, meaning that C drive, program files and Autodesk, but it's possible to change it. And then that's basically it. I can start installation. So I do left click. Again, I see that I have about 21 components or software that will be installed, but depending on your selections, this number will be something else. And one by one, you will see what will be installed and how it goes. And hopefully everything goes well. And we can come back a bit later to see if our installation was successful. Once the installation is finished, you should see a similar screen in where green check mark indicates that this component or software module was successfully installed. As you see, Autodesk Revit and also content libraries are successfully installed and which means that I can either launch now or do it later. 
For example, right now I'm just closing my installation screen and sometimes you may need to restart your computer first and then you can come back and start Autodesk Revit 2020 first time because I selected that desktop icon will be also included onto my desktop. I can see Revit 2020 directly from here, which means that uh, I can do double click and see how it goes to start up my Autodesk Revit 2020 first time. Of course, because I installed it as a trial or basically no license information was asked and by default a trial will be used, but I can also subscribe directly or enter my serial number before I start using it. Currently I'm using it as a trial, so I select start a trial. After doing it, I can see also that 30 days left of my trial. I can see those days also from my top bar, 30 days, and I can include my licensing information at any time. So once again, if you install it as I did, as a trial, it doesn't mean that uh, you need to reinstall it once you decide to subscribe or enter serial number. But right now, of course, I close my licensing screen and in here I can see my Autodesk Revit desktop. So let's go through some basics or just double checking that all basic things are installed. So first of all, if I do a left click in this section models and new, I should see that I have template files available. So architectural, construction, structural and mechanical. Those will be installed with my content packs. If I don't have any, of course, then I can use browse and select some different template. But my suggestion is that please do install at least US metric or any other content so that you have some template files available. And of course later, when you know how to use Autodesk Revit, you can also use Browse and use additional templates as well. So I select for example architectural template, I create a new project, I hit OK, and my full product user interface will be opened. I'm not going to take a deep dive into this user interface, but instead one more thing that I would like to show or pay attention to if I go to File and then Options, now File Locations, then from here you can click Places and in this list you can see which libraries are installed by default. As you see, US Metric in my case. You can include additional locations, for example, if you have those in different drives, maybe network drive, you can do that. But at least you should have something here so that you can practice with Autodesk Revit more conveniently. If I left click and hit those three dots, I can see what is included in my US metric. Different folders, basically different templates and families included with this content pack. And if I used to install different country packs, then I can go up one level and I should see different packs available also in here. So by default, you see which folder path it is. So it may happen that um, you install everything correctly, but this folder path is pointing to some different location. You can easily check it from this screen, places, and you can indicate the correct path. Which means that if I cancel it out, and if I want to load some additional families, special term in Autodesk Revit, if I go to insert load family, it automatically goes to load family and US metric. Of course, this is my default location. I hit cancel again. If you would like to subscribe to Autodesk Revit, you can click on this 30 days or whatever days left button, and you can do that using subscribe now. But if you already have a license key or serial number, then you can do this help button about Autodesk Revit, manage license, activate, and from here you have similar selections, but instead of subscribing, you enter a serial number directly, which is available also at Autodesk account, if you already have it. Autodesk licensing screen will be present. I agree, 
activate and now you can input serial number. You can find your serial number from manage.autodesk.com but please remember that uh, you need to have access to it and somebody, for example your IT admin, should assign you to be able to use Autodesk Revit or if you are a student then you can easily check your licensing key also from here. But before that, of course, you do need to download and activate your product through Students Portal. If I select all products and services, then I can find my Autodesk Revit. I can see Autodesk Revit 2020 and I will input my serial number. I hit next and here we go. My activation is finished. I hit finish and now this 30 days or whatever disappears. Fully activated product. But before that, of course, you can test or try Autodesk Revit. Happy using! If you found something useful from this video, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and you will be the first to get notifications about my new videos. Bye bye!